Hello and welcome. Welcome back. This is Redemption Goddess. Today I am covering Kendrick Johnson. Uh, you may or may not know about this case. Now there is a documentary out on Amazon Prime and a few other places. Now it's $4.99 on Amazon Prime. I saw one that said Vidu or Vodou or something and it's $3.99 there. So it's up to you. Um, you may have some software that lets you watch it for free. I, I don't know. But this documentary was put together um, and it is available. Now, how I found out about it is, oh, I hate to even say I don't know her name. She's a black lady. Uh, oh, my goodness. Why don't I? I'm sorry. When you don't send me no checks, you know, I don't know your name. Now, you send me money or you send me checks or you send me something to make me remember your behind, then I'm going to know you. I'm just not, you know, we all have certain names just stuck in our head that we just know. And then there's other names that just slip, slip us. You know, I'm just figuring out music that I like. I'm just figuring out who those artists are. I know the music, but didn't even know who the artists were. So anyway, go check out this documentary. That woman was promoting it. That's how I figured out about it. Now, I have known about this case for quite some time. It was a very sad case. And the parents, they went, I mean, they really have been fighting for their son. I mean, they lost. They lost uh, uh, some litigation and they had to pay court fees and attorney fees, you know, they sued and lost. All they're trying to do is find answers. Let's not ever, ever forget. There was a child found dead, rolled up in a gym mat. And you're not able to do that yourself. That's it. You don't roll up gym mats randomly and and, and not know it's a body there. Somebody is responsible for this child's death. And that's it. It's supposed to be Georgia Bureau investigate. You know, it's, it's, it's 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 people's job to find out who did this. That's their job. That's what they get paid for. And they have been unable to do so. Now, that's it. We can read case files. We can read this. We can read that. There is a young man's body that was found in a gym mat at school. He is no longer here on this earth. And it is the, it is the job of the authorities to figure out who did it. So don't ever lose sight of that throughout this. Throughout the whole thing, don't ever lose sight of that. I know that some folks will come on and they'll 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 try to tell you stuff about this. I don't care about people's past when they die. What what matters is what happened in that moment that caused that person's death. That's it. Now I see Sir Brown the Broken does not talk about these things and this is in the state where he lives. Along with Ahmed Aubrey. Rest in peace to these young men. See, when you have something right in your face that you can fight for, if you so choose, It is technically your choice. It feels, it it, it really feels like out of your, your realm. Like, what do I do? I'm just, I'm just a person. Well, the only thing I can do is put this man's name in the title and make sure you watch this video. Make sure you go over there and check out the documentary and make sure this case uh, doesn't get swept under the rug. Now they reopened it the beginning of this year because you they you of course you have to reopen it what do you mean you're gonna close this it doesn't even make sense to any logical person 
It does not make sense. You mean you're going to close? Oh, you mean you're done. you tired of looking. you tired of trying to figure out who did it. That's what you're trying to say? No, nah, baby, you can't get tired. Y'all solve cold case shit from 50 years ago. Y'all run around chasing DNA from 50 years ago. Remember? Yeah, y'all solving cold case murders from 50 and sometimes longer than that. Y'all still running around investigating stuff, so keep investigating this. Oh, don't worry, we'll help you some now. Yeah, the world is on to it now, so we'll help you a little bit. Don't worry. Maybe Kwame Brown will mention it. If he get his Kwamites on something like this, imagine what could happen. Oh, they'll have this shit solved. Mm Mm-hmm. They'll be over there, mama cooking at the district attorney and everybody else. At the governor, mama cooking, mama cooking, mama cooking, solve this case. Yeah, because this young man did not roll himself up in a fucking gym mat. He didn't. Okay? He did not roll himself up in a gym mat. Maybe you need to interview his uh, parents. Anyway, you can't tell nobody what to do, right? We well, can't tell nobody what to do with their channel, what they time, and whatnot, and whatnot. Mm-mm. I bet you, though, I have to give the Kwamites this. They got a whole lot of pressure. So you go and apply that pressure where it for real need to go. And imagine. Imagine. What could happen? This family might be able to get answers. The children or child or whoever is responsible for this is living their life. Now, they probably ain't living a good life because they scared that a motherfucker they know any day they ass is about to get caught. You know? And we don't know. See, people react differently when they're in trouble. Some people get in trouble or some people say some foul stuff or whatever And instead of apologizing and being accountable and going ahead and serving your consequence and doing what you have to do, some people double down. Some people triple down. Some people dedicate their life to evil because they've already committed said evil act. So they go along and they just become full-blown serial killers now. So you got got for sure one or a group of people and all of the people that help that is helping sweep this under the rug allegedly you got all of these people able to live their lives but these parents have to wake up empty every day the child is not here every single child person that that young man affected or knew or whatever they have to wake up empty but the guilty and all of the people around them They get to live their lives. Is that fair? I don't think that that's fair. Just like when you lie. You get caught in your lie. You just say, you know what? Yeah, I lied. I just did some dumb shit. I just lied. I don't even know why, but I apologize. Nope. Most people lie. They keep on lying. And they'll tell you, I didn't lie. I didn't lie. All the way to the end. And they are just never, either they'll never admit that they lied try to change the subject or whatever they just double triple you know until until they're to that point where there is absolutely no doubt see in social life you know we can pretend like we didn't lie and double down triple down never admit it whatever but in the legal realm you do some you take somebody's life baby you got to go you got to go on up out of society you may get a second chance at at life in society, depending on how the justice system do you. But for now, you have to go sit your ass down. We don't need you running around here thinking that you can take somebody's life and not be held accountable. If I lie on my resume and they figure out I lied and they fire my ass, that's the consequence of my ass lying on the resume, right? So what I'm going to get mad at them people for? I'm going to go my ass and try to find another job. And guess what? I ain't going to lie on that resume. 
If I don't know how to do the shit, I'm going to tell them I don't know how to do it. But you can train me and I am a, a very fast learner. That's it. It takes a lot of weight off your shoulders. Have you ever been standing next to somebody with a lot of weight on them? They looking off into space and their brain is just going a million miles a minute. They don't know who going to walk up on them. They don't know when they go to jail, when they go to prison. They don't know who going to walk up on them and kill them. They don't know who going to catch them, who going to, uh, uh, you know, trying to, ch- try to ch- uh, run away from all their lies they done told. Yeah. Nasty, depraved, scared to go to the doctor. Scared as hell what them test results gonna say. So they don't never go. So irresponsible and then they just live their life out here. Mm-hmm. People do all type of depraved shit. I'm telling you. All types of depraved shit. And then you sit here and you think that's the energy you feel in. People always ask me, why are you so happy? Oh, you so happy and goofy and, and this and that and whatever. Yeah. Because I didn't shed all that weight off my back, boo-boo. I don't give a damn. You know, I go back in the past and apologize, you know, if need be. You know, and sometimes I just really don't give a damn. I don't apologize and I'm not sorry. You know, but if it's a consequence to be had, I'm just going to have it. However it goes, whether I'm sorry or whether I'm not sorry, it's a consequence to be had. I sit up here and tell some they framing me. And then this is a this a do low twist. Ain't no goddamn do low twist. Motherfucker talk too much and lie too much. Shit come back on your ass. Once you then now folk lying on you. That's how it go down. Same thing with these people that's responsible for this situation. No, you ain't living a no good life. I bet you they on drugs like a mug. Watch. I bet you. They try to take so many drugs and numb they self every day. I hope they hear this shit. Y'all thought y'all was going to be living a good life, huh? No. You ain't going to live no good life. And you thought this shit was going to go away. No, it ain't went away, did it? Mm-mm. Nope, it did not. What you going to do now? Because the time is ticking. And I pray anybody you encounter with ill intentions, I pray that they can um, defend themselves against you, your animal. And everybody that's covered this up, you are an animal. You are an animal. Yes. I know it's sometimes it's out of love and we do some shit, so I give you the benefit of the doubt on that. You love somebody, you do some crazy shit for their ass. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt on that. But it doesn't matter. The consequences for all of y'all asses is coming. Mm hmm. Yeah, they coming. You think you're going to snuff that child out? Tell everybody, oh, it was an accident. We don't know who caused the accident, but it's an accident. We just going we gonna to close this up. No, baby. No, y'all not. No, y'all not. Y'all gonna open this shit back up. And now the world watching. Yes, the world. The world is watching us, y'all. Mm-hmm. And everybody is dealing... See, this is the thing. Come on back to reality. Everybody is dealing with the battle between good and evil. You wake your ass up in the morning... Yeah, you did a whole bunch of shady shit in your life. And yeah, consequences may be coming. You may have some mercy there. If you can figure out how to flip it around and stop. (laughs) Redeem yourself. All you got to do is stop. It's hard, ain't it? Whole life of lying and cheating and stealing and conniving and bullshitting, huh? You ever met somebody, they just ain't comfortable in their skin. They don't have no conversation, nothing. They just weird. They in- That calm ass energy you bring, they don't know how to deal with that. Then they result to name calling you mean, you aggressive. No. I'm redeemed, boo-boo. <laughs> I'm redeemed. I know that I'm flawed. 
You know, I know I will cut your ass out in a minute, beat your ass. The difference between me and maybe a lot of other folks, I'm going to put my hands up and lay down and go do my time. Or accept what came out my mouth, accept the consequences. Are you fired or you can't come back here no more? Uh, da, da, da. Okay. Again, apologies for that, you know, little, I might not apologize. I might not be sorry at all. I may not be the least bit sorry. I know as many, many instances, I am not at all sorry, but I accept the consequences. And that's something different. You know, it's all types of folks I can say crazy, wild ass shit about their ass. But I try to find the good first. I try to speak the life first. You know, all you can do is... All you can do is ask a person to redeem themselves. That's it. And hope that they do. And then you have to go back to actively trying to keep yourself safe and and, and, uh, actively pursuing the things that make you happy. You can't dwell on it. All you can do is ask them to redeem themselves. That's it. Because first and foremost, the consequences is coming anyway. The redemption may trigger some mercy. You never know. That's why I don't be understanding. Some people see, and then this is another thing to keep yourself safe. Some people that gave the fuck up, and you have to recognize that. They are willing to do whatever, say, do whatever. They truly evil, conniving people. They have already given up. They they are hell-bent on, they didn't gave in to the evil. They ain't even trying to have no more light left, good, nothing. And the good that you see is some bullshit. It's, it's, it's a facade. Because you know people are not, people selfish, they arrogant, they mean, and they evil. So when you see good, you like, oh, mm-hmm, what you want? Yeah, what do you want? Because good deeds are done in silence. Soon as you announce the shit, you done fucked up. But anyway, back to this young man. Rest in peace to this young man and send positive energy to that family so they can keep up the fight. You may want to help join the fight. I'm pretty sure they have some information for you if you're trying to help join the fight. Uh, Maybe you want to make uh, some commentary on this. At least go check out the documentary. Um, I will link that in the description box. You can actually just Google Kendrick Johnson's documentary. They have a few areas where you can go and check it out. Now, also, I will link the Wikipedia to, you know, the things that I reference here. I didn't read it out loud. Many of us, we know about this case. I remember when they were saying that the parents had to pay money, you know, because they lost the defamation or lost the uh, suit, their, their lawsuit. They had to actually pay the legal fees and things. And that was a tough blow. And I was following that, and uh, but I didn't have a YouTube channel yet. But man, this is a sad case. You know, and this is right there in Georgia. And, you know, in the beginning, people were really rocking with it. I, I've, you know, seen people talking about it and rocking with it. And it just seemed like it just was, it, you know, it just hit this wall. And no one quite knew, like, you know, what do we do now? But I'm glad that it got some more steam. Um, uh, it, it, it Somebody breathed some life into it. And they reopened this case. Thank you. Because th- that that is just crazy. And think about all the counties across the United States where folks do not get the publicity. And their loved one is just snuffed out. No explanation. And they just have to sit with it until someone decides to shine a light on it and it has to be the right media climate and this and that and folks gotta you know people have to you gotta have a certain name and you gotta be connected to this or that or whatever you waiting on some celebrity to speak on it or whatever it just seemed like it won't get any traction and then you have the conspiracy shit that takes you to a whole nother level and, and, and makes a makes a uh, mockery of the whole situation. Some of these conspiracy things make a mockery of the situation. 
to where you can't hardly get to the bottom of it. You know, let me know what you think in the comments. Did you know about this story? Are you in Georgia? Do you got some, do you, do you know something the world don't know? You know, let us know. Uh, like, share, and subscribe, please. Get the word out about this young man. Um, and sure, you send positive energy to that family. Couldn't imagine waking up with a piece of you gone and just having the authorities telling you that this is some type of um, freak accident. Mm. Anyway, thank you so much for listening. Have a great day.